Okay, here's another example. This is working in 3, 3D now in R, R cubed. So I've got some line integral and I want to evaluate it. I've got the parameterization. I've got my limits of integration. So essentially what I'm going to do is just use my parameterization to formulate these um, differentials. Okay, so, so if x equals t, dx is just 1 dt. If y equals t squared, dy equals 2t dt. And if z equals 1, well, dz is just going to be 0 dt. So what I can do is just sub those in. So I'm going to replace x with t. I'm going to replace y with t squared and z with 1. So let's call this, say, i. Okay, so my limits of integration are 1 and 0. x squared is going to become t squared. dx is 1 dt. x times y, that's going to be t times t squared. dy is 2t dt. And dz, well, that's just 0, 0 dt. Okay, so that's not going to contribute anything. So let's take these sort of common factors of dt out the front. What am I going to get? I'm going to get a t squared there, and I'm going to get a 2t to the power 4. So now I just need to integrate this and have my value. So... Okay, when I sub in 0, this isn't going to change anything. When I sub in 1, I'm going to get something like this. So we put them over, say, a common factor of 15. No, I should get that. Okay. What's that? Minus? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Any questions for that one? Hopefully you're getting into a bit of a groove now with the, the solution method. It's pretty, pretty standard. The nice thing is you're given your parameterization here, so you don't have to do very much work.